Good evening, I'm Erica Thomas. The first debate of the 2016 presidential campaign is history. It ended just moments ago. The top 10 candidates were invited to the event. 27 First News anchor Dave Sess is in Cleveland tonight. Well, I'm standing outside Quicken Loans Arena right now, and I can see a monitor off into the distance here. The debate is still going on, so it looks like the uh, candidates are giving one final summation of their positions or what they want the, the audience to hear is uh, the final words from them. After this, Brian and I will be going back inside to what's called Spin Alley to see what the candidates have to say about their performance tonight. Now, one thing I can tell you is that there were certainly a lot of exchanges between candidates tonight. Donald Trump was willing to speak his mind on any and every issue, and the candidates were all prepared. But you know what? This was such a huge event. It just seemed like everybody wanted to be here tonight. There were thousands of people in Cleveland to see the first debate, and each one was hoping to get a message out to voters. Why is this important to you? Well, I mean, it's really important because I, I want to see people do good in this country, and um, I think the path runs wrong, and I want to see uh, Marco Rubio become president. You know, let's make it easier for young people to do businesses. You know, open up a business, life will be better. Star power never hurts when battling Donald Trump and the rest of the Republican field of contenders. It was a message the second-tier candidates were also trying to get across that they were worthy of being president. What do you take from your time in Pennsylvania that'll work for you down the road? Here? We went out and we fought the establishment. We won and we stood up for, for, uh, for Pennsylvania and American workers. I think voters are looking for a real change. They know that we're on the path to socialism, turning the American dream into the European nightmare. They want to get our country back on the right path. And then in the main show, it was Governor John Kasich trying to shine in front of his home state and plenty of Buckeyes willing to support him. They're looking for somebody that will be real. They're looking for somebody that will be authentic. They're looking for somebody that will be genuine. They're looking for someone that has walked where they've walked and that understands the challenges that they face every day. That's the kind of president that we need. Winners and losers tonight? Well, I think the winner still is going to be Donald Trump. I think he'll still maintain that lead in the polls. Losers? Doesn't seem like anybody gained any ground on him tonight. He's still got a double-digit lead over the field. It's a long process. It's a journey. Remember, we'll be back here in 2016 for the Republican National Convention, again, back in Cleveland. Reporting live from C-Town, I'm Dave Sess, 27 First News.